Andrew's last hope collapsed. Charles lost patience with Andrew banned him for return royal. Prince Andrew has no realistic chance of being rehabilitated as a frontline royal once his brother Prince Charles becomes king, a royal commentator has said. However, daughters Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice have not put a foot wrong, and are the perfect fit for a slimmed down royal family, Jonathan Sacerdotti predicted. The Duke of York, who has been badly damaged by his links with billionaire former paedophile Jeffrey Epstein, was eyeing a return to the royal fold with the assistance of his two children. Virginia Dufry claimed she had been sex trafficked by Epstein for Andrew, although a civil case relating to the matter was settled before it came to court in the US with the Duke of York accepting no liability. Epstein died in prison in 2019, with suicide the official verdict. Last week, Neil Sean, the royal-slash-entertainment reporter for NBC News-slash-MSNBC and Access Hollywood suggested Andrew was eyeing a return to the royal fold with the help of his two children. However, Mr. Sacerdotti suggested if the claims were accurate, the Duke was being overly optimistic. He said, I can't see any way that the royal family would try to push Prince Andrew, front and center again any time soon. I think that that corresponds with an era when we're seeing the royal family slim down anyway, in terms of who's put out there to do a lot of public work. I think that the Queen has divided more of her old to the next generations in order to alleviate the burden on her at her old age, and that is entirely reasonable. In due course when Prince Charles is the monarch I think we will see even more steps to slim down the working royal family. Part of the reason for that will be to avoid any controversies about individuals or to avoid putting anyone out there who they feel might not command the same level of respect that the monarch themselves commands. And I think part of the reason will be just a modernization that is deemed responsible and sensible. He explained, there isn't maybe the appetite for such a large working royal family anymore. Many of them will continue to do good work, but quietly, I think, without as much attention. And I think that anyway, Prince Andrew will fall into that wider effort to try to focus things more on key important members of family at the top and allow others to blend a bit more into the background. He explained, there isn't maybe the appetite for such a large working royal family anymore. Many of them will continue to do good work, but quietly, I think, without as much attention. And I think that anyway. Prince Andrew will fall into that wider effort to try to focus things more on key important members of family at the top and allow others to blend a bit more into the background. Prince Andrew is set to cause embarrassment to the royal family yet again. The Duke of York was asked about his ties and friendship with convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein during the 2019 Newsnight interview. While responding to the question, Andrew seemed to have laughed his head off a gesture captured in a photograph. Earlier this month, BBC photographer Mark Harrison claimed the snap would embarrass the royals. A source said, it's a still picture showing Emily interviewing Andrew. You can see his face and he's laughing. People will feel it was reckless for him to laugh during such a sensitive interview. But he probably didn't realize the seriousness or consequences of laughing or how it would look on camera. You have to bear in mind that after the interview, he thought it had gone very well, only to be subsequently hit by a wave of negative reaction.